My throat feels real dry. I'll have a nurse bring you more fluids. Hey, George, could I talk to you? Oh, you look busy. Can you give me one sec? What's up? Alex tried to hide Ava from me. We're not in a relationship, so why would he do that? Um... Is he in love with her? Maybe, but maybe he lied to protect you because he thought helping her would hurt your feelings. Hmm, I guess you're right. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Are those hives on his neck? Eddie, do you have any allergies? <gasps> no. I think you're an anaphylaxis. are helping. We're going to put you on oxygen to help you breathe, Mr. Paulson. Let's get you ready, Mrs. Bellamy. Your hair will grow back before you know it. You told Christina I gave her a bad review? I had no choice. Christina was determined to find out who it was. I couldn't allow her to go all over the hospital harassing attendings, knowing all along it was you. Meredith, you had no right. Our conversations are private, and I expect them to remain that way. Derek, you're overreacting. I don't think you shaved closely enough, Dr. Gray. I'll just go over it one more time. She's having a seizure. I'll get the razor. You track the seizure. What? Why are you looking at me like that? What happened? You had a seizure. Hopefully that was the last one. I'll take her vitals. Dr. Gray will bring you down to surgery shortly.
work wait. Christina is my best friend. I have to do what's best for her. If only you are as committed to our relationship as you are to yours and Christina's. Sugar fix? I don't talk to candy stripers. Then it's a good thing I'm a scrub nurse. The name's Vince. Christina, right? Dr. Yang. Here, my treat. Or not. So buying you a candy bar is a no-go. How about letting me treat you to something else? Like maybe dinner? Who's above left temple? Tell Dr. Karev to watch for hematoma. Let's see if I'm as good as I think I am. What are you, 16? When did they start giving candy stripers nursing degrees? I hear you're very precise with your hands in surgery. Is it true? We. Oui. Would you want to join me on the roof? For bird watching? Mm, something like that. What's so funny? The other day, Dr. Han said cracking a sternum is better than sex. The only thing you should be thinking about is what color thong I'm wearing. I have a headache. Fine, but you don't know what you're missing.
You look pale. You sick? Worse. I think I'm in love with Dr. Han. Wow. Sucks for her. Ready to glove and gown. I don't think you're ready, Dr. Gray. You're the one who's not ready. You can't seem to accept the fact that you are not the only person who matters in my world. You're not ready for surgery. You don't have your surgical cap on. Shall we? Let's begin. Good job, Dr. Gray. Thank you, Dr. Shepard. Don't you have my chart memorized? I have more than your chart memorized. Nice and lewd, Alex. Well, let's change your dressing. Good. When the swelling goes down, your face will be as good as new. My face was pretty new to begin with. Were you in the operating room? Yeah. Was it awkward? That's a loaded question.
If you were worried it'd be awkward, you could have gone to one of the half dozen hospitals between your home, your husband, your baby, and Seattle Grace. The surgery to repair my implant was an elaborate setup. I went under the knife so you'd run away with me. Everything's blurry. Do you feel pressure? Uh-huh. She's hemorrhaging. I need an OR now. 